Beginn stehen. Ah, oh, she's so sweaty. Oh my god. Pigs in a blanket, it's like little little hot dogs in um, like breading or whatever. Well, not breading, but uh, you know, like pastry wrap, I guess. Son, uh, body hair. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I put body hair on them? Just like like cute and young. There you go. <laughs> Bonica. Beautiful. Why are there two slits on the screen? Uh, lovely eyebrows. I guess I, I guess if the ladies can't have a body hair, then it looks like. Capacity. Wait, this is for makeup. Uh, I'll keep this. <laughs> I, I can't go up any further. Toodle gets stuck in your Prince Albert chat. She needs it to open uh, soda cans with you. My God, the varicose veins. on the face. I don't know how to hide her beautiful face. Like, tribal shit on her face. Oh, this is fine. Watch, you don't take Sleuth's pod now? I can't imagine why they would do that. But whatever. There's something off about her 
body. I can't tell what it is though. Something very subtle. I think we made like her upper body's too Yeah. Her, uh, if she's gonna be the opposite of our main dude, her upper body is like too too big still or something. already maxed out in their respective directions. There we go. Now we're looking a little more pal world-ish. That's nice. The arms are clipping? They are? Oh yeah, a bit. Well, we can fix that. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Actually, that makes it worse. That's the female version. Our pal oh, our power character was uh, character was male. That's true. God damn. It's all right. I didn't have a lot of cake at Tally's wedding because I got a lot of cake right here. I'm saying, I'm saying. Absolute unit arm length. Little T Rex arms. There's something just so off about her boobs, dude. They didn't make them bigger, just made them look like bullets. They make them look like the fucking bullet bills or whatever from Super Mario World. <clears throat> this is horrifying. What the fuck? That's my grandma, dude. Why'd you recreate me? It's the posture she's leaning back. Is it? No, nah, they're still, I mean, kind of. <laughs> I hope every other pawn we get is just like someone in their <laughs> later years. Wait, Chad, do we want, do we want the hunchback or the stand, stand proud? Okay, <laughs> Kale was <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, we're talking about it. the proud, yeah, because we did that. We did the hunchback on ours. Hunch for sure. Are we just making the hunch gang? It does make the booba look better. I mean, you know, in some way. All right, I think we're good. I think we got what we need. Oh hell no! It's the way Kale likes them. Are so depth. All right, this is the one. Yes. Vocation. Holy dude! <laughs> look, at the, look at the robes at the bottom. Holy color second though. You tempting the fifth? No, I'm not part of the tournament. But I'm gonna play the tally tomorrow in the day after though. Getting some practice. I'm not playing yet too, so I don't know the over. Just... 
inclination. Compassionate, devoted, and dutiful, the most obedient sort of pawn favors a balanced approach with an emphasis on support. Quick to aid allies in need. Uh, rational, shrewd, strategizing pawn characterized by caution. Favors defense and evasion. Employs clever tactics to survive at all costs. Uh, hard on their sleeve. Ex enjoys exploring and gathering items. Is always up for a challenge. Straightforward. Likes the thrill of combat. Tackling fierce foes head on with daring self. I have kind hearted in order to be support. Kind hearted, sweet three. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. I don't think that's what she'd sound like. It'd be a little more, um. The people here are evacuated and safe. For the moment. A little more rust in her voice. The people here are evac the people here are evacuated and the people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated. There are more who can yet be saved. <laughs> I think that might have to be her voice. Faithful one. Oh hell no. I th I think it has to be faithful one. It seems the rain has abated. Alright. Feminine human. Okay. Oh, that's one I already did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so rusty in the voice. So, do you just get like alerted if somebody uses your pawn? I love how Rafe warned me. <laughs> Rafe warned me she's gonna come back and see this dude. She's gonna rip, flip her shit. Can you turn around for me? Yeah, you got a forklift. Of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse <laughs> other realms beyond this one. Holy shit, dude. A fucking match made in heaven. <laughs> I can't even see me. She's so tall. Holy oh, good. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey, Arisen. I literally can't get us both properly in frame. I can't move the camera anymore left. Or right, rather. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn. <laughs> and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. <laughs> Everyone else around us is like some hot like, character in their 20s and shit. Well, yeah. I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. I got you, can't I agree? <coughs> All right. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie. This is all beyond my ken. <coughs> the Watchhead would know what to do. I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. Got a forklift? Oh, I got you. If you guys, by the way, if you're near to stream or like you haven't seen it or you haven't been in here in a while, if you, um, if you type X, I got you, evil, uh, envil. If you type exclamation mark clip whenever you see something funny or you wanted to like look at something again, our uh, Mythogen bot that Brini made will automatically clip for you. So you don't need to like do it yourself. You just type exclamation mark clip, it'll clip the last like 30 seconds or whatever. Just heads up. Uh, it also automatically gets put in our Clips channel on Discord, which is very helpful for me making shorts if something funny happens. So if you have a moment and something funny happens, or something notable, um, make sure you do that. I suppose we'll save any further helps questions everybody. until the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. That was just like a go explosion. What? You've no memories, you say? Oh, that's cool. You can move the camera when they're talking. Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. I just enjoyed the God of Forklift. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Poor watch outpost, Northern Watch Encampment. What is that aura? Yeah. 
this, this is a pretty good character creator. Uh, Rift Zones, the Arisen can travel to the bridge atwixt worlds where a great many pawns traverse as a journey beyond Rift. This uh, allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preference. These pawns will not level up while they're accompanying you. However, you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Wait, what? So you fill out your four-man party with pre-leveled characters and you need to regularly do it? Pray, ask what you wish to know. I shall answer. If it is within my power to do so. You just keep replacing the extra two, but your main two level. Okay. Tell me if pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds. We the abomination you just made? What? The rift stones, they don't make one of cake or elder. Their player's mains pawns are Capcom created ones. Gotcha. However... I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Riftstones are gates that connect this world Get to a right, multitude account. of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fate's chosen. Or is it is such Those a um, to command the poor ashen region, one kind of thing in this? And the world from the threat of the dragon. Definitely a souls inspired thing it seems. Even with your memories lost to you. Then again, it's I probably from the original, which is also a pretty old game. Fate. Another time. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Solid forty-five Fippus. That's Kay Gorilla. So are these the other pawns? Or do I need to interact with the wrist stone? Oh, I see, here we go. You have to, you have to hold it down for a bit. Is there any reason not to just take a higher level one? Oh, you have to pay money to use them. Is that how it works? So, like, I can't hire this one because what's behind my can? Because I have 120 only. So, I need to take free guys. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Uh, I mean, let's just get like a. a <laughs> my characters. Uh, I mean, let's just get like a balanced comp, right? For now. <clears throat> Until I see a little more combat. It's like, oh, we'll take like a warrior type and we'll take an archer. And then we got kind of one of everything for now. This is kind of cool, this, the system. Uh, what's up? There still has a lot of the pawns at your current level. You can also find some out in the world. The bigger the difference in level, the more costly. Mm -hmm. You can summon friends for free. If you click that stone again, you can search by level skill. Search for a pawn. View unique pawns. Dude, there's rankings. Oh my god. Oh, it shows you. That's kind of a neat system, I must say. It's just like neat for, I don't know, stuff. Special pawns can be hard for the official pawns in the Ristone menu. Different regular pawns in the following ways. Their names are displayed in a different color. Official pawns at level 10 or below can be hired without expending rift crystals. The armor worn by official pawns cannot be changed. Official pawns will not appear in monthly or cumulative rankings. Maybe So th these are the, like the, um, I was going to say Costco, the Capcom pre-made ones. Official pawns may only be available for hire for a limited time. Pawns in the Rift. Search for a pawn. A few favorite pawns, friends, pawns. As well as zero. Wait, I could just hire level 39 guy right now? Isn't that kind of cheating? Aerith? Cat? Mommy? Alright, Jet. What are you guys doing? Oh, content creator pawns. Isn't it kind of cheating if I just hire like a level 39 one right now? 
40. It costs zero. Makes it not funny. Yeah, I'll avoid that. Um, and I'll, I'll just take, like, whatever. Um, search for pawn. Advanced pawn search. Level 2 to 4. Oh, yeah, it's warrior and sorcerer as well. Now, I'll do the basic ones until I discover the ones. Fighter and archer. Don't care. Show only pawns with knowledge of priority quest. Only pawns who can offer guidance for your priority quest will be shown. Do I care about this? Why would you want that? Take Poe and Leo. Daniela. This reminds me of my uh, team in Paladin in a while. Alright, we'll take a lion chick. Hey, it's Rafe. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. can mark one will show like a check mark above its name wait what do you mean what, what's this quest guide thing click the stone pawn ID okay And then, pawns in the rift. Okay. So, like, we just talked to Daddy. So, we just talked to Rafe. Add marker? Is that what you mean? Pawns gave you a hints request. Oh, because it's very open world stuff. Yeah, okay. Quest guide has. Okay. Oh, I see. I mean, it's whatever. I was just looking around, like, I still want to see what they look like and stuff. But noted. Very well. I shall lend you my aid. You do seem to be in need of it. Why do all these have quest guides? I thought we said no quest guides. Like, is it a big deal? Should I opt for no? Like, are they very back seedy? I pray my efforts aid your cause. They're all quest guide. I like do an incorrect search, maybe. It was a filter. I thought I turned it off, though. I could have sworn I did. Two to four. Quest knowledge, none. Yeah. Sometimes it's very useful. All right. I thought it would be, like, super bad, CD. Okay, that's fine. Let's take these, then. Take Rafe. Are you certain you're happy to have me along? Inclination simple. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. Pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn. Uh, to receive upon the task completion, pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. Uh oh. When setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive. I should have said this before a character customization. When setting a res uh, reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to retreat, receive, you can either select specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. Oh, oh, you li you are the one who literally rewards them. Okay. It's also possible to trade with other arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective. Okay. I'm not much to say at the moment. So is she in my party now? Yeah, because I can see her health bar. Okay. Uh, and where's the uh... door? I see. Not even the arisen could resist my charms. Travel together for a day and a night. Wakestone shard. Higher. Ah, oh, good. 
I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Does all look so generic? Feels like nobody took any time to make these. Like, look at this. You can tell someone takes some time. How do I um, make the reward? Good morrow to you, Arisen. <laughs> God, I forgot the voice. I was just because of starting pawns. I get it once the quest is complete. Okay. I don't need this one. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're good. That Kath, Rafe, and Kekarelda. Leave the rift. Yes, Junkaroo. Ripened Hearth Spud. Scrag of Beast. <clears throat> Total weight of the enemies you're carrying affects your movement speed. The heavier you pack, the slower you're moving, the more stamina you'll expend. Remain light on your feet by sharing your burden with your pawns. Depositing items and storage in an inn or selling off things you don't need. Thief, a wielder of daggers with speed and ruthless efficiency, uh, unleashing a flurry of deadly blows the one moment and stepping nimbly out of the enemy's reach in the next. <laughs> nimbly. Knowing when to strike and when to slip away is key to the strategy. As thieves can afford little uh, to be weighted down with heavy armor, leaving them vulnerable to attack. Dodging attacks, swift step, or stop maneuver allows you to smoothly evade enemy attacks and can be used to hound your enemy or dance rings around them. Getting within dagger throws distance and darting away again in the blink of an eye. Follow-up attacks and pin down on pin down foes. You can... Press to use twin fangs. You can pin down foes that have been knocked off balance by continuing to hold while activating and landing the attack. This gives you the opportunity to follow up with more attacks and deal massive damage. You'll need to be wary of counterattacks, however, as you cannot move while pinned, pinning down a foe. Clinging to larger foes. Holding down while activating twin fangs will allow you to uh, cling to larger enemies on a successful hit. This is an ideal position to be in as thieves have a variety of skills at their disposal that can be activated when clinging to a foe. In short... Once you have a dagger's in them, you'll bring them down in moments. Follow-up attacks. When you land an attack using triangle, it will change to a powerful successive strike if... Mr. Cat, it's your dinner time, is it not? Um, the target is downed or knocked off balance, or the target is not expecting the attack. Powerful successive strike should be carefully aimed. I just will leave you vulnerable. By touching the rift zone, the arrows can travel to the bridge. Uh, okay, we did that. Pawns. We did all this. I should probably take a look around the map. So it's... Oh, see, this is the map. And then the other one's the world map. All right. So this is some kind of start, little starter zone to explain one thing to know. Pawn is not your man. Uh, dies with items in his pack or is dismissed. You may lose the items, I believe, but you do not believe you do. But not 100% sure about that. Okay. Skip leg day? No. Be careful when you store what does inventory look like right on this. Oh, I see, okay. Sludicus, Kekarelda, etc. Um, consume to recover a small amount of health. Consume to recover a small amount of stam. Small amount of stam. Is there like a... Also, what's the point of sheathing your weapons? It's just RP here. Oh, Mr. Cat. Okay, I was about to say, can you put items over here? It looks like you can. Down people don't like it when weapons are drawn. Alright, so it's RP stuff. 